all the new Ford Kuga first presentation, full story. Hello everyone and welcome to presentation of new Ford Kuga. In this video we are going to talk more about a technical side and design of new Ford Kuga than in previous one. We start with short presentation by Jörg Bayer, chief engineer, and Amko Liner, head of design in Ford of Europe. And here they are. You saw them on stage, big news, but not just outside. First of all, to mention the powertrains of choice. So we have a full lineup, a full lineup of hybrids, the mild hybrids, the mobile hybrids, and then of course the star of the show today here, the plug-in hybrid. That features a 2.5 liter Atkins and petrol engine together with an electric motor. The total power of the system is 225 horsepower. Of course, it wouldn't be a Ford if it wasn't fun to drive. Well, our vehicles stand for fun to drive. They are iconic uh, for that. The performance feel is improved. We have selectable drive modes. We have a new 8-speed automatic transmission in those vehicles. The body is 10% stiffer, and that's complementary to the vehicle dynamics. The way it road holds, the way it handles, the stiff body actually plays a good role. But also it's important for comfort. While you're handling, you want to be isolated from road noise. So, for instance, one of the features is the fully isolated rear suspension. That's actually unique in its class. Of course, it also inspires a confidence using our suite of Ford Copilot 360 driver assistant technologies. That's a full suite of all of the assistant systems. The new Cougar has everything you would expect. It's smarter, it's more capable, and it's of course packed with technology. Plus design, that is sleeker, sportier and upscale, fitting to the driving dynamics. But there's nobody better to explain that than our design director, Anko. Anko? Thank you, Thanks, Jörg. So, the new ca uh, Kuga captures the energy of the customers we designed it for. So, compared to the previous model, it's 44 millimeters wider, 90 millimeters longer, and 20 mil millimeters lower. And with an increased wheelbase of another 20 mil, this package offers customers more headroom and best-in-class rear legroom. Individual personalities allow customers to choose the statement they want to make. The sporty presence of the ST line makes you feel empowered with the gloss black details, arrow wings and the lowered front bumper giving it that sportier stance. And by contrast, the sophisticated Vignale that allows you to stand out with the touches of glamour and exclusivity. And the refined new titanium completes the lineup, as you can see here on screen. So the body side has a softer shape, it's more sculptured, it's more simplified. The perception of length is enhanced by uninterrupted lines flowing from the bonnet all the way to the rear. Strong shoulders enhance the agile appearance, and the tailgate features horizontal elements conveying width and stability and it's emphasizing its cargo carrying capability. The ST line looks particularly sporty. It sits high and rides 10 millimeter lower, conveying how much fun it really is to drive. The interior is fresh, it's harmonious, with a less cluttered design. It's spacious and airy, and the slim instrument panel frees up knee space for the driver and the front passenger. And the Kuga is packed with technology that makes your heart sing. Fully connected with the Ford Pass Connect modem and sync infotainment system, as well as our b and Play sound system. So the driver gets a new 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and our large heads up display. It's versatile, it's flexible with easy access for anything you want to carry. Sliding rear seats means you give extra space to the passenger or the cargo and even those rear seats are heated for the comfort of your family. So that's a quick tour of our dynamic all-new coupe. After presentation, Am Linus explains the details. This pillar yeah. is a bit more there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this point is yeah. somewhere there. Yeah. 
So but you have a, sh a shorter bonnet. Here, first so. of all, it gives you some sort of I mean, it, it gives you an old-fashioned feeling because the nose mm. will be like this. Right. Well, everybody is doing the nose a little bit more like this, or at least straight. Yeah. So it, it gives it a more, let me say, road-hugging stance. Right. Yeah. So you, you want to keep that keep that long. And then we push the A pillar back because we definitely wanted a more premium proportion. The idea was to be close to a new Ford Focus. Yeah, yeah. So it definitely has that same feeling of uh, of uh, decluttered design, very calm. Um, making sure we pushed all the volumes out, except for the controls that you really need, um, and they're organized in a way that is height logical. Uh, anything entertainment that is on the screen, everything with radio or anything with music, let's say, is on these buttons here and all the climate is down here. And we found that, and then all the driving controls are, are on the console. It's a really clean and clear way on, uh, on com communicating with the customer that it's very uh, natural to uh, operate. It is, it is absolutely yeah. roomy. It's super roomy. We've uh, pushed, uh, I think the IP has been moved at least uh, 15 to 20 mil forward in comparison with the model that is there now. Um, I think you might re 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 remember the current car, um, even here on the end, has like a little movement uh, mm -hmm. like that and that just, mm -hmm. it, it makes it feel cramped. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, we're, we're, we're really happy about uh, the roominess. Also. I think there has been a trend for a while that you make the console as high as possible, but we actually try to make it um, uh, in line with the seat. So it's kind of like plus or yeah. minus the same height of the seat. We feel it's more it's more social, it's more friendly. It's a special wood. We've got a leather stitched uh, IP. Uh, we've got, in comparison to the Focus, for example, we've got much more gloss black uh, elements. Mm -hmm. uh, all around, Good. and then obviously we have the digital cluster. So Vignale is standard uh, for, for Vignale is standard, absolutely. At the end, I tested how is comfortable new Kuga inside for my 192 cm tall or 6.3 feet. The driver position looks good enough. The central tunnel in hybrid version at the rear is lower a bit than inside a steel line. Last one's going to be four-wheel drive too. I can change the angle of a backrest and to slide my seat back. It gives about 8 cm for my knees, but the wood lost space, though I can compensate it a little by left rear seat. For all press info and photos, please follow the link in description. More info about new Kuga will be in Frankfurt Motor Show. Thanks for watching, subscribe please and see you soon.